right, so we ended up in our knee on belly with our collar and our sleeve. The hand that's on the collar is gonna trace down to where, like, where it meets the belt. I'm gonna start pulling it out, pulling it out, shaking it out. But usually their, their back's gonna be on it, so I just need enough to where I can start wrapping it. Usually they're gonna be staying in nice and tight. So from here, I'm gonna drop down to my side control. Um, before I do drop down to my side, I'm gonna abandon this, and I'm gonna start grabbing like a horse collar grip, like thumb in, here. That'll make this pass easier when I drop down to my side control. So I go here, I'm gonna touch, knee down, and when I'm dropping down, I'm kind of doing like that paper cutter right on the hip. <laughs> so I go down and I go chest to chest. All right. Usually they'll try to get their frames, which is perfect, which is what I want. The horse collar grip's gonna go deeper. I'm gonna take this lapel and put her arm basically in like a sling. Sling, and then palm down, grab, hold in tight. Okay. So it's, it's taken this, uh, one of her defenses away. So from here, now I'm gonna pop back up to my knee on belly. This hand is already palm down. I'm gonna go palm up, grab that same lapel right there. And it's gonna lead into that baseball bat choke. So I'm gonna go here, drop, drop to my knees, and let's finish it. Usually like you can go like spin around the clock, finish it that way. Or let's, let's finish it this way tonight. So I'm gonna close my elbows, I'm gonna drop to my hip, pull her up, <coughs> and finish that baseball bat choke the same way. It's so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so if it's already out, that's even better for me. Go right here, there. Grab that horse collar grip. Try not to grab a handful of hair. Dropping down. I'm gonna go deeper with my cross face, over the arm, grab it. I'm grabbing it palm down, not palm up. It's gonna be palm down, I'm gonna pull it in tight. So what, this is taking away one of her defenses, so it, if it was out and I was doing it this way, I go to get this, she's gonna fight, I'm gonna poke her in the eye. But with this over, at least one defense is gone. She still has this one, but a lot of times I can at least get this grip. And then, then I can deal with that grip if I need to. So here, here, close my elbows here. So I should be choking at this point. And then drop to my hip, pull her up. And then just try to take my elbows even further. So this is like a modification just to the, the basic baseball bat choke, which is, it's all good. But the one with the lapel over is taking away one of her defenses. Here, here. And if they get this out, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Questions? Would you mind doing it one time on the opposite knee? On the other side? Yeah. Oh. He's got a sprained foot, yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you see how mean she sure is. <laughs> so here. Untied. Horse collar. Back down. And this is where I'm going to pass it. I'm going here. Problem. Questions? Sorry, Katie. The far one's <laughs> over, the close one's in. To you. The closer one to you, your palm goes up. So, and the other palm goes down. Just to double check it. So, the one that's the cross face. So, okay. it's, it's like I'm holding a baseball bat, right? Okay. So, the one that's under the head is going to be palm down. Yeah. And then, when I go to get this grip, it's going to be palm up. Okay. So, it's legit like I'm holding that baseball bat. Thank you. Make sense? Yeah. Go. Alright, I'm three. One, two, three.